33 years apiece. Jessalyn Michelle is four inches taller. She weighed in a pound heavier. Two inch reach advantage on the arms, five inch reach advantage on the legs. Here's how it works. Four fights and one contract giveaway. Those four winners narrow down to two finalists. Our celebrity panel will weigh in. You, the fans, have a chance to vote. And the contract winner appears in the 2022 PFL season. Marina ready for round number one. Andrew Glenn inside the cage. And we are ready to go in our second bout of week eight. Catiline versus Michelle. Jackie Catiline in the black trunks. Jessalyn Michelle in the gray. Yeah, both women very powerful. Sean Michelle with her hands, with her striking, and Catiline with her grappling skills. She lands a nice right hand there. Nice work by Jessalyn Michelle to fend off the first pressure on that sort of half takedown attempt from Jackie Catiline. Yeah, Jes Jeslyn Michelle has a lot more MMA experience, undefeated as an amateur, undefeated as a pro, but Catiline literally had a thousand, over a thousand wrestling matches and at a high level, so that's got to count for something for sure. Jeslyn Michelle oh. kicks the legs out from under Jackie Catiline. Who turns that into a shot. Nice sprawl here from Jesslyn Michelle. Jesslyn doing an excellent job of landing strikes and sprawling off of those takedown attempts from Catiline. Catiline in her camp said she's got heavy hands. Didn't have to put those on display necessarily in her MMA debut. Gonna be hard. Oh, there's a nice combination to punctuate the point. Low calf kicks here from Jesslyn Michelle. And those are extremely painful, Sean. Those take away a lot of your ability to shoot if they land in the right spot. But Catiline ignores those kicks and lands that double leg takedown. See if Michelle can get up to her feet up against the cage. If there's a spot to do it, this is the best place. She can hide that back attack by having the cage behind her. Michelle trying to use that right arm to frame out Jackie Catiline. The decorated wrestler pressuring Jesslyn Michelle. Ray Lewis, Jackie Catiline, one of the best American wrestlers, used that little trip for a mat return, and now she's in side control. Yeah, she has full control right now, man. I'm telling you, she's a force. She's built so low to the ground. All of her power is in her legs, and that's why she's such a great wrestler. But now you're starting to see her dominance can take, possibly take over this match. Wow. Catiline effectively in referee's position here, a place she knows a lot about, and she'll try and get that right hook in. Jesslyn Michelle playing defense at the moment, protecting her head, protecting the neck. Yeah, she's using the cage really well here, Sean. She was in deep trouble just a few moments ago. Now trying to use that cage to stop Catiline from taking her back. This is a little bit worse of a position. This is not where she wants to be. See if she can turn her back towards the fence and get an underhook here. Good job there. There it is. Now she just needs an underhook. Catiline might follow up with another takedown here at the body lock. All right, Wiz Khalifa, our good friend Randy Couture tells us that you are a guy who knows how to use long levers in a combat situation. Jessica Michelle's got those long levers. How does she put them to work? Man, she needs to set up her uh, create some angles. Wow. Uh, not get tied up and slammed like that, see ya. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, just just use use her use her link to her advantage. Um, the jab always works. Front kicks and um, you know keep her up off of you as much as possible. She's gonna have to get back to her feet to employ those types of weapons. <laughs> you saw the big slam from Jackie Catiline, who now looks to reach that left arm over, get a squeeze on the neck of Jesslyn Michelle. Yeah, Catiline trying to get that arm underneath the neck of Michelle. Can't quite see if it's underneath the neck. It might be. That's a that tight looks squeeze, tight. Kenny. Yeah, with or without hooks, you can still get someone to go to sleep there. The Michelle trying to fight it. The chin is in. Does not look like that arm is underneath the chin, but Jackie Catiline, a lot of power on this squeeze. We'll see if she can turn it into a neck crank. Oh, Michelle's getting behind her here. This is a better position. 
she pushes on that elbow, Sean, with her right hand. She can get out. That's what she's trying to do right now. Catalina really squeezing now, though. 30 seconds, and Catalina abandons wow. the squeeze. Small victories here for Jesslyn Michelle. Gets herself out of some trouble there. Yeah, absolutely. Perhaps a big victory there, escaping that very difficult position. Jesslyn Michelle showing how tough she is. Catalina really tried to finish that one. Yep, she's got nothing. She's just trying to ride you out. Yep, keep working it. Keep working it. 10 second clapper signifying the coming end of the first round. Jackie Catalina will try and squeeze it out to finish. Doesn't Jessalyn have the Michelle angle. spins away and survives round one. Great defense there by Jessalyn Michelle Kenny. Unbelievable. Excellent defense and very impressive heart as well. Okay. Is there anywhere you want ice? Just breathe. Just relax. Right? God gives adversity to you so you can overcome it. Right? She doesn't like to strike out. All you got to do is keep your chin down and your hands up, please. And then she's she's waiting for you to come forward. Okay. You want water? It's yeah, right here. Right? So more maybe we, we, we circle a little more. We jab. Right? If she if she's getting if she's getting a little froggy, you know, that's fine. First priority, get frames in. You know. Yeah. Well, because she's trying to get you to turtle so she can take your back, but yeah. you're already aware of her her back, uh, her hand fighting and all that, right? Yeah. Cool. So this time we circle a little more, we stay away, right? More stiff jabs. Right. Yes, sir. And feel, feel to uh, yep. sway back at any point you want. You're doing excellent. The, the, the recently retired legend, Roxanne Montefiore, there in the corner of Jesslyn Michelle. Yeah, she has so much experience. She's competed all over the world at the highest level. Great person to have in your corner. You There's Jackie you Catiline. There's Jesslyn Michelle. We are underway here in round number two. And I like what the corner said for Jeslyn Michelle, saying that you know she has to be careful as she rushes forward. That's where Catalina's going to hit a lot of those reactive takedowns. Catalina with that extensive wrestling background, but remember she's only had one mixed martial arts fight in her entire life. It ended very quickly. She has literally never been in this situation where in an actual fight she's seeing the second round. She's having to fight through a little bit of fatigue. You see her breathing heavily. Yeah, 100 percent. And, and listen, you know, experience matters no matter what the sport is. And for mixed martial arts, it's extremely valuable to know you can go into round two, round three, knowing that you've experienced that adversity in the cage. It's a totally different thing than even wrestling at a high level. You see an orthodox looks here from Jessalyn Michelle. A lot of movement, fainting here in front of Jackie Catiline, looking to enter and then spinning around for an attack. Tyron Woodley, round one was a lot of wrestling. How does Jessalyn Michelle stay on her feet and try and use her skill set here? You know, I don't know if spinning is winning because the last time I checked when she over threw the punch and extended, she was taken down. I think judging off the first two rounds, if I'm Jessalyn Michelle, I'm jabbing high. I'm really jabbing low to the body. That way, if she ducks down underneath, she's catching a punch in the chin. If you hit her in the stomach, she really can't take you down. If I'm cat on the other side, I'm really not just waiting on her to punch. I'm going to use my level change because I've taken you down two or three times. I'm going to use that to look, throw that overhand right. They said she has power in her hands. Let's see it. Overhand right, level change fake. And then if you don't get it, then go for the takedown. Go back and forth on that. One of them going to open up. There's a knee attempt from Jesslyn Michelle, but steps into the grasp of Jackie Catalan, pushes her way back out, lands a right hand on the exit there, Kenny. Yeah, I, I like this more measured approach here from Jeslyn. She's staying aggressive. She's not over committing so much. Needs to stick to the fundamentals a little bit more. Uh, but I do think a lot of these strikes are starting to throw Catalina off a little bit. And we're not seeing a whole lot of level changes. Michelle a little unorthodox, but she's effective right now. Landing some shots and doing a good job getting head position just like that. A Superman punch landed, as did the second knee. She went to the body with the first knee, came up high with the second. Michelle oh. mixing it up nicely, and there's that overhand right Tyron Woodley wanted. Yeah, and that was a big right hand, an excellent combination to follow up from Catalan. Leg kick there from Jackie Catalan. Michelle goes back to the low calf kick again. Banking those, that, that is sort of the uh, the flavor of the year. I can't say flavor of the month because those calf kicks have been sticking around in the sport for good reason, Kenny, but 
Yeah, I'm just glad they weren't around when I was fighting. But uh, Jackie Cataline starting to find a lot more success on the feet as she moves forward with combinations and not just big shots. She's landing those, but where she's going to really hurt Jeslin if she can put together combinations. Goes downstairs for the takedown, finishes with a right hand. Evening out the striking exchanges here. 90 seconds remain in round number two. Ray Lewis, it's been a tale of two rounds before. Can Jackie Cataline get this thing back to the mat before the end of round two? I think she has to get it. Straight right. I think she has to get it to the mat. That's one thing about Jeslin, right? She's staying away. Tyron talked about the overhand right that Cataline likes to throw. But one thing about Jeslin, she's just walking in. She's not intentional when she's walking in. She has to dictate oh. the fight. That right knee snuck up the middle there for Jeslin Michelle. Excellent round for the former, well, they're both former wrestlers. One of them a former folk style wrestler, Kenny. Right. Jessica Michelle, a former wrestler of the uh, entertainment variety. Yeah, that's right. You know, and for Cataline, you know, obviously she knows this, but doing it in an MMA setting is so different. She's getting in on that takedown. She's getting in on the legs, I should say, but she's not following through. She's not moving her feet after she lands, uh, you know, that, that after she gets in on the leg. So she's not driving all the way through on her takedown. She's stopping uh, her motion and stopping the leg motion on those doubles. Another Superman punch landed there for Jesslyn Michelle. And as round two comes to a close, the question that I start to ask is, what about the conditioning of these two women? Jesslyn Michelle looks pretty fresh. Cataline's been a little more flat-footed, open mouth in this one, but she's still coming forward. Spin misses, knee lands. Round two in the books. A very interesting affair here in the women's lightweight division. Here's this Superman punch there. Nice fake with the kick, went upstairs. That threw Cataline off. Got, definitely got her attention. Those knees to the body, the knees upstairs. Just beautiful work there from Jeslyn Michelle to come back in round two. She was attacking the legs. There's a big overhand right from Jackie Cataline. And then another beautiful combination, hook cross combination, and then another nice jab to finish it up. And here's excellent clinch work here from Jeslyn Michelle. She gets that tie clinch, and she was complaining about a possible hair pull there. I think that was accidental. There's another kind of Superman strike there. Great round. So we're not the judges. We don't actually know how that thing was scored, but right. perhaps a round apiece that was a much more successful round number two round. for Jessalyn Michelle after she spent uh, the Last first round. round really being defensive. Sean, I, I would say so. I agree with that. I think it's one round apiece here as we move into round three. You ready? Big, big ready? moment here. Let's go. Get on it. Let's go. Hands are moving. Hands are moving. Yeah. Take the jab. Round three underway. Jessalyn Michelle, the taller fighter in the gray. Jackie Catalina in the black. More leg kicks here from Jesslyn Michelle. And Jesslyn needs to throw more of these feints. She's catching Catalina, biting on those feints, and she's landing some great shots right now from that clinch going upstairs with that high knee. My goodness. Nice knees there from Catalina, excuse me, from Michelle, and she gets herself probably most importantly off of the fence. You don't want to settle in to that spot with a wrestler. Oh, and she slips on that kick. Cataline takes advantage. There's that timing from Jackie Cataline. Now she's in a much better position here, catching Jesslyn Michelle off that kick, and it's early in round three. Jesslyn Michelle told us in the fighter meetings that she's comfortable off of her back. Not always great in a close fight to feel comfortable off your back. Uh, she's, yeah, she's trying to set up a triangle here. I believe Jackie is onto it. She's trying to get her posture, trying to swim out now in a shoulder lock on Plata. Let's see if Jessalyn Michelle can turn this into a reversal or a submission here. If Jackie just postures up and pulls that arm straight out, she'll be fine. There, there's the posture. Jessalyn holding onto that arm pretty well so far, though. Excellent work by Jessalyn Michelle. Yes, Occupying the attention of Jackie Cataline by making her stay on the defensive, but now. Oh, what a sweep here. Can she get all the way up? Can you create this scramble and back to the feet? 
Nice work by Jessalyn Michelle. Yeah, absolutely. And that's kind of demoralize that's gonna demoralize Jackie Cataline a little bit. She was in a great position, really wasn't able to create a whole lot of offense. It was Jessalyn Michelle creating the offense off of her back. Let's see if Jackie Cataline can take advantage of another takedown opportunity or land another good combination. Oh. There's another Superman punch from Michelle. Wiz Khalifa, we've seen Superman punches, those push kicks you were asking for. Has Jessalyn Michelle turned the tide of this fight? She definitely did. Uh, she started early with, with the knee. I was really impressed with it, and then she turned it up some more. Every time she get rushed or get closer, she's throwing uh, knees to the body, taking the air out of her, high knees to the face, and just like staying all over and frustrating her. It's, it's really good to see. Kenny, I told you fatigue might be a factor. Jackie Cataline has now entered the flat-footed sort of plotting phase. She very clearly is experiencing a little bit of gas, sucking that pond water. And Jessalyn Michelle, clearly, clearly more fresh in round number three. Absolutely, and this is where MMA experience really matters. Jackie Cataline has not been in this situation. She's tired, it's, things are evened up. She might be losing this round as well. She's gonna have to hit some takedowns here and trying to finish this round on top right now in these striking exchanges. Jeslyn Michelle is, is winning a lot of these. All right, Tyron Woodley, a little dirty boxing here against the cage. A little dirty boxing, they have it. You know what I like about Jeslyn? She doesn't recognize and doesn't understand how good of a straight right hand she has. She does not need the Superman in every single time. She's landed that one, but if she just sit down and just turn her hand over, she's landed enough calf kicks to really set up a lead straight right hand. And there we go again with the Superman punch. But she has a reach, she has an eye, she's looking at her target. And I just know that with the experience in the sport, she's gonna identify that weapon, and there's gonna be one she can reach for. Mm. Jessica Michelle once again negates that half-hearted takedown attempt from Catalan, little calf catcher. And now, a little gamesmanship from Jessalyn Michelle. I think she was stealing some dance moves from you, Sean, from last week. Uh, my dance moves are something that you envy, Kenny Florian. <laughs> Just admit it. Inside of one minute in this women's lightweight bout, Jessalyn Michelle is feeling herself in this final minute. Yeah, and these are the kind of mind games that could actually play a factor in this fight. Jackie Cataline lands a nice combination, though. She's not having it. Nice combination from Michelle. Oh, man. And now a flurry from Jessalyn Michelle trying to put an exclamation point. And there's the big knee up the middle. 30 seconds remain. Let's go. 20 seconds. You're doing awesome, Jessalyn. Fire it up, Jess. Fire it up. 20 seconds. Got to open it up. Open it up. Spinning attack misses for Jesslyn Michelle, but she comes forward. Stays outside of the range of Jackie Cataline. Ten seconds left here. Another calf kick. And a blitz from Jesslyn Michelle, who negates one final takedown attempt from Jackie Cataline. Impressive fight from both of these women. We'll see what the judges thought of this one. Jesslyn Michelle with her hands in the air, claiming a victory. We'll get an official decision next on Fubo TV. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score the bout 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Jesslyn Michelle. All right, real quick, our winner, Jesslyn Michelle, overcame some adversity. She took you down in the first round. We knew that was her game plan. Staying on the feet was your game plan. How were you able to implement that in rounds two and three? Well, staying on the feet wasn't necessarily my game plan. We thought I could probably outdo her on the feet. She's pretty good on the feet, though. But I, I thought she wouldn't be as heavy on the ground. We worked a lot of ground stuff. I love grappling, but that wrestler pressure was just a little too much I didn't want to deal with. So. I thought I could definitely go to plan B on the feet and just throw some long distance kicks. And it's a win. All right, let's see what our celebrity panel thought of that performance. Julie Stewart-Binks, over to you. Jesley Michelle gets the win and she does it in entertaining fashion. Ray Lewis, how did she impress you? You know, I think what she impressed me about the most is people always think about the counters and the fighting, but conditioning is one of the most important <laughs> no things. 
And I'm telling you, she's, she was more conditioned than Jackie was, right? And when you saw the first round, and the first round was watching her being dominated on the mat. And then she went to a different game and changed to that Superman punch and threw it four or five times, and she changed the whole outcome of the match, man. Absolutely incredible. Jesley Michelle undefeated in the Challenger Series. We'll have to see if it's enough for a contract. All right, Jess and Michelle victorious for the second time here inside the PFL.